Hello, I'm Katya. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a stretch routine for you. Uh, this is a short little routine that you can add on to any of my other classes or perhaps do your cardio exercise, your running, your cycling, your swimming. Or likewise, if you perhaps sit all day for work, you might find in the evening you'd like to do a little bit of stretching. This would be really brilliant for that. So I have a band. If you don't have a band, you can use a belt or scarf. Likewise, if nothing is at hand, please don't worry. You don't have to have anything. And I also have a couple of blocks, which again, you might find helpful, but they're not a necessity. So let's begin. We're going to lie down onto our backs. Oh, one more thing. You could also put a cushion for your head uh, right there so that your neck is really nice and supported. So we'll lie down onto our backs. First thing is we're gonna give a nice big full body stretch. Stretch your legs away, stretch your arms out, beautiful back stretch, reach, reach, reach. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you exhale, we're going to hug the right knee in towards your chest. You may just adjust your left leg so it's right in line with your hip joint. Give your right knee a really nice squeeze and just rock it a little bit side to side. You just see how the hip joint is doing, gently moving your thigh bone in the hip joint. Just do a couple of circles, steering the knee around. And change direction. Good. And then you can keep the bottom leg straight or you may bend it slightly and rest the foot flat onto the mat. Interlace your hands around the back of your right thigh. Just check that your shoulders are drawing down. Inhale, exhale, flex your right foot. Reach your heel up towards the sky. Stretch your leg as best as you can. Inhale, bending your knee. And exhale again, stretch it out. Inhale, bend, relax the foot. Exhale, stretch. Right now, you're pushing your leg into your hands. Your hands giving that really good support. Let's stretch the toes up point. Exhale, flex. Good, feel that great stretch in your calf now, the back of the knee, inhale, point. And exhale, flex. One more time, point. And exhale, flex. Relax your foot. Do bend your knee for a moment. Now this is the time where we could use our band or perhaps your belt or anything else that you find that you can use wrapping around your foot. Now I've got my band double layer just because it's long enough. So you can have single layer or double layer. Put the band across the ball of the foot. And we're just going to use that to assist us to stretch the leg. Good. You can perhaps reach your hands up closer towards your foot. Keep drawing your shoulders down. If your bottom leg is bent, you might choose to just stretch it out now. This will increase the intensity. Now remember to keep breathing. This way you signal your muscles to relax and release into the stretch. Now we take both ends of the band or your belt into your right hand. We'll take the leg out to the right. But please be extra cautious to not roll off to the right side to keep your left side grounded. So the right leg is going towards the top right corner of your mat, that direction, with the left side staying in neutral. Bring your leg all the way back up. Change hands, hold the band in your left hand, right arm can come down to the ground. Now we'll cross the leg just about 20, 30 degrees over towards your left. And this is a really big stretch again, the calf, the back of the knee, all the way up into the top of the hip. The outer thigh, your IT band's getting a little bit of stretch here. You can see my hip has lifted just a little bit. I'm trying to resist it. As much as possible. Bring your leg all the way back to the center. 
we're going to bend the bottom leg Remove your bed, your band, put that aside, and then cross your right leg over the left leg, push your right knee out to the side. From here, if it's available, pick up your left leg, holding onto your thigh or your shin, draw it in. Now we're stretching our glutes, our outer hip muscles. Breathe here. Now be cautious not to roll over to the right too much but to think about the left knee going towards your left shoulder and almost feel a little bit more weight on the left side of your back. I hope you feel a better stretch when you do it this way. Inhale. Exhale. We're going to release. Stretch your left leg all the way back down. Hug the right knee back in towards you. Now we'll hold the right knee with the opposite hand right arm out to the side and we take a nice twist cross your leg over so you choose how far you go you can go all the way down you can do a smaller twist you can have your right foot sitting on your left leg if that works for you or you can stretch your foot away any put any nice twist position that works for your body using your breath to release into it might get a stretch across your chest and your arm and shoulder. That's a bonus. One more inhale. Exhale. Lift yourself all the way back up. Give that knee one more big squeeze in. And now we're gonna stretch it all the way down. Inhale, reach your arms back, good. Just take a moment, notice my right leg definitely feels a lot longer than my left leg now. So just notice perhaps any difference between the two sides. On your next exhale, repeating everything on the left side, hug your left knee in. Give your left knee a nice squeeze, rock your knee a little bit side to side. Just gently relaxing into the hip socket. Couple circles with your knees using your hands. Steer the leg, other direction. Good. Choose if to keep your bottom leg straight or if you prefer slightly bend. Interlace your hands around the back of your thigh, just close to the knee, below the knee. Inhale, exhale, push your leg into your hands, straighten your leg as best as you can. So don't worry if your leg doesn't go all the way straight right now. Just doing your best. Inhale, bending. Exhale, stretching it. Reach up through the heel. Starting already to get into those calves. Inhale. Exhale, stretch. Hold it. Stretch the toes up, point. And flex. And point. And flex. One more. Reach up long through the toes. And toes down. Relax your foot, bend your knee. Again, grab your band. If you have something, wrap it around the ball of the foot. Make sure it's nice, secure. And let's stretch it up. Good, check your shoulders are drawing down, down onto the mat and down towards your hips. And again, just take a moment to tune in. This side might feel very different to the first side. So just know it's totally normal that the two sides might vary a little bit. If they feel the same, then that's excellent. More balance. Breathe. Again, maybe extending the bottom leg down if it's straight. Maybe you choose to stay as you are. Keep reaching up through the heel. So if your lack is a little bit bent, I'd rather you lower it slightly forwards and have it straight than trying to get it in and it's still bent. Now, take both ends of the band into your left hand. And we're gonna open the leg out to the left side, but we're gonna be really, really precise, not letting the right side roll off. So keep the right side grounded, feeling that big stretch on in the inner thigh. Breathe. Bring your leg back up. Good, keep breathing, you're doing really good. Switch your hands. We're gonna hold it in the opposite hand. And now just a few degrees over. 
for most people this is quite intense here feel that big stretch the calf the back of the knee hopefully also some sensation in the back of the leg still let's stay for one more breath bring your leg all the way back excellent you can bend your knee put your bend band belt away hug the knee one more time in towards you good now we'll come into our glute stretch cross your ankle press your knee away now this works really well for you of course you can stay here or intensifying it pick up your right leg hold on to the thigh maybe it's easy for you to reach around the shin and then drawing your right leg towards your right shoulder so on this side we'll try and lean just a tiny bit more to the right it will make that stretch on the left hip so much better breathe good flex your foot this will protect your knee one more inhale and exhale lovely relaxing the legs down right leg extends hold on to the left leg we'll go into our twist stretch your left arm away cross your right leg over just go to your pace a twist that works for your body try and relax the chest particular that left shoulder the left arm if you feel tight in your shoulder you can always bring your arm lower down if that's more comfortable or for a bigger stretch taking your arm a little bit higher just see what feels right for your body breathing one more good bring your leg all the way back one more time tight in towards the chest release it inhale big stretch out now hopefully feel a little bit more balance again and then draw both knees into the chest hug the knees in you can rock here a little bit stay here squeezing the knees in or we can come into a happy baby pose see if you can hold on to the soles of the feet your knees are pointing slightly out to the side we're drawing the knees down at the same time lengthen your tailbone forwards and back down to the ground if it has curled off the floor brilliant releasing your legs let's rock yourself all the way up to sitting and we'll turn around and come onto our hands and knees so we've done lots of stretching for the legs and the hips and let's just get our spine moving just three rounds of cut stretch inhale here and just feel that spine is moving and releasing your back inhale lengthening lift the chest exhale round and one more inhale lengthening lifting forwards and up exhale release your head round and inhale lengthen here's a really nice shoulder stretch take big steps towards the corner of your mat reach your hands out arms as long as your shoulders are comfortable really nice and strong and then allow your chest to dip down you can bring your forehead down if you find you're really low down you can even bring your chin down let's take care of the neck of course Sometimes I'll come up on my fingertips and you, you can get more stretch this way. See what feels nice on your shoulders. Feel the length all the way from your hands through your elbows to your shoulders to your waist. From here, sit yourself back into child's pose. Roll yourself all the way up. And we're going to step the right foot forwards. Good right in front of you in line with your right hip joint now this is where perhaps you might find the blocks can be useful if you have any 
You could grab something else, or again, if you don't have any, we can just use the floor or even on the leg. So from here, lengthen your tail down, check your hips are square, and then just begin to very gently lean forwards. Good. You're trying to find a stretch across the front of your left hip and thigh. So this is so good if you sit a lot throughout the day or after run, after cycling, such a good stretch to get the front of the hip to really open and lengthen. One more inhale. At the moment, I'm kind of resisting just not to hang all the way down, but I try and lift the hips up to get that stretch high up. Good, now bring your hands to the floor or on your blocks. And from here, begin to send your hips back. See if you can extend the front leg. Again, don't worry if your leg doesn't go all the way straight. And then we'll rock back forwards. And now we let the hips sink down. If your balance is good, put your hands on your thigh. Inhale, send the hips back. Exhale, draw the hips back, stretch over your front leg. Lift the toes if you can, inhale, lift, exhale, lean forwards. Breathe in, breathe out, stretch. We're going to stay and breathe. Think about the crown of the head reaching forwards. Keep your right hip drawing back. Inhale. And exhale. From here, lift yourself all the way up. Let's take one big stretch with the arms up. Inhale. And exhale, release your hands down. We're going to switch our legs. So right leg back, left leg forwards. Nice big step. Hips nice and square. Lengthen your tail down. Think about the front of the hips lifting. Good. Check that you can see your left toes way ahead of your knee, so that when you start leaning forwards, your knee is still behind your heel or above your heel, but not going beyond your toes. Find a moment here, focusing on that stretch across the front of your right hip. One more inhale, hip flexor stretch and quads. Exhale. Good. Let's bring our hands down to the floor, on the blocks, on something else, maybe on your leg if you need to. And let's draw the hips back and try and extend the front leg. So just go with what you have. Remember to be patient with your body. Inhale, start to rock forwards. Exhale, lift up the chest, hands on your thigh. Breathe in and breathe out. You might find every time you can go a little bit further. And sinking down. Do one more full round. And sink. The next one, we're going to stay in this so-called runner stretch. Keep lifting the toes. Keep lengthening your spine. Think of stretching your belly, your ribs over your leg. Inhaling. Exhaling. Good. Come forwards again into your lunge. Big stretch with the arms up. Inhale, reach. And exhale, hands come down. Good. Just going to move my blocks slightly away now. Now from here, tuck the back toes under and step back into downward facing dog. Just walking on the spot here again. Lovely calf stretch again. Hamstring stretch. Stretch it back. And then bending your left leg. Keep your left leg right where it is. Turn your right heel 45 degree into the center of the mat and see, as best as you can, push your hip back up and also push down into your right heel. You can look under your right arm. This is a great IT band stretch. 
Squeeze. Square yourself, same on the other side. Bend your right knee, turn your left heel in 45 degree. Left leg is as straight as possible. Push back into your left hip, down into your left heel. Breathe. And turn yourself back to square. Lower your knees all the way down. We have one more here. We're gonna step the right foot once more forwards. But this time take your right foot to the right edge of your mat and turn your toes slightly out. Now here, allow your hips to sink forwards. This is called lizard pose. We're just gonna let those hips sink down. With your right hand, you can press very gently against your right thigh. And then you feel a stretch in your right hip as well. Stay here if this feels plenty or begin to reach back and catch your back foot for a quad stretch, drawing your back foot in towards your seat. Carefully release if you're holding the foot, both hands down and we'll take the right leg all the way back and do the same on the left side. Take your left foot back, so just to the edge of your left side mat, point your toes slightly out. Good, again, make sure that your knee is not too far forwards, it's over your heel. Feel free to pad your back knee, and here we just allow the hips to sink. Breathe. You can place your left hand against your left thigh, press the knee out. Good. You can stay here if that feels just right for you today, or you can reach back, bending your back knee, catch your foot. Again, if you'd like to do this stretch but your foot is too far away, you could grab your band, your belt, and wrap that around your foot and hold it via this. Feeling that lovely big stretch for your quads now. Always take care of your knees. If it hurts your knee, back off. And then release it. Good. Left leg goes all the way back. We'll come into a child's pose, but we add a thread, the needle stretch. So taking your right arm under the left side, threading the arm to stretch our shoulder, and then sit back into your child's pose. Take a nice deep breath in here. Exhale. One more inhale. Exhale. Rock forwards, repeat on your left side. Thread the needle, left arm under. Reach, 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 reach. And then let your hips go back to your heels as far as possible. Relax your head, your neck. And slowly bring yourself all the way forwards and up. Good. We're going to come down to sitting now. Now here you can sit maybe on your blocks or you can sit on your cushion. If that helps you just to sit, sit a little bit taller. Let's have the knees pointing up to the sky and the toes pointing up to the sky, but just nice and relaxed really. From here, take a nice big stretch over to your right leg. Beautiful big side bend now, opening out through the side body, inhale. And then exhale, just gently let your body roll forwards. Come over to your left side. Your right arm stretches up and over. Good, and just nice and easy, forwards. And over to the first side, reach, and down, and towards your left side. Just one more each side, please. We'll go over. Let's just stay here for a moment. Now, if the top arm, it feels too much for your shoulder here, your arm can go up. You can even have your arm resting beside you, and this is really nice for the neck. So any position for your arm that feels comfortable. Good. 
and then roll yourself over to the other side. Again, choose your arm position. Your arm may be down beside your body. Your arm might reach up. You might be able to get it all the way over. Just be patient. Be where you need to be. And then we'll come all the way up to sitting up nice and tall. From here, if this is a tight position, just put your hands behind you and sit yourself up as tall as you can. If you are sitting already nice and tall and your legs are nice and long, you can start to take your arms out in front of you perhaps, maybe coming down onto your elbows. Maybe you're able to stretch your arms, let your head come down. Breathe. One last breath here. And then roll yourself slowly all the way up. We're going to come into a cross-legged position to close. And just crossing your left leg in, right leg in front. Inhale here. Let's take a really simple twist towards your right side. And come back to the center. Simply cross your legs, left leg in front, cross over to your left side. And come back to the center, sit up nice and tall. And from here, nod your chin down. And gently look up. And nod down. Roll your head. To the right shoulder and roll your head to the left shoulder and looking forwards and bring your head all the way up thank you so much for being here with me today you did a great job enjoy the rest of your day i hope to see you next time